hello guys and welcome to my channel once again thank you for joining me uh, as a matter of fact it's not new uh, on this channel that we've been talking about visa issues and today uh, we're going to be talking about the visa plan currently going on in the UAE a list of African countries have been slammed with a visa ban and uh, as a matter of fact you know news is going to be flying all over what happened why this visa ban has been put so many activities have been going on in the UAE and outside of the UAE and that could possibly be the reason why there's this visa ban but for sure we are not certain about what particularly could be the reason so if you're watching this video and this is your first time my name is Harry Tigansa Jengina and my channel is Experience Africans where I share the experience of Africans living both home and abroad so first of all we're going to talk about the problem then we're going to talk about what happened and we're going to talk about possible solutions to what is happening. As I am talking to you, I am not talking based on anybody's opinion, but my opinion as a person, what I see as the problem, uh, what I see that can be done as also solutions to all of these things. So first of all, what could be the reason for this ban? Uh, the reason for this ban could generally mean a lot of things. Uh, we've had a lot of situations faced by Africans here in the UAE and also outside of the UAE. Uh, there is currently uh, news about the outbreak of Ebola in some African countries and this could possibly be the reason why there is that ban for those East African countries. Uh, but we don't know if that is the reason mainly. Uh, secondly, Nigeria and uh, the UAE have been having a lot of fracas for more than a year. This has been lingering up and down, up and down. Flights are banned from this country. Flights are also banned from the other country. Um, flights are not given to some national carriers from this country. Flights are not given to some national carriers from this other country. Those could possibly be the reasons that we are having this kind of uh, fracas. Secondly, thirdly, I would say uh, there are some things that activities that some of our African brothers and sisters do do right here in UAE that could possibly be the reason why these visa bans are also being implemented. But like I said, it's my opinion, it's not the opinion of the government and I am not in any position to give final judgment to what it is. But what I believe is that um, a lot of people go into some acts because of the situation they find themselves. Um, for some time now, Nigerians have been denied visa. Uh, uh, employment visa and as such when they don't have a job and uh, they don't want to go home as at the moment as things are not really rosy for them back home they just want to stay here and hopefully maybe things get better and they get a job some of them uh, venture into one form of uh, irregularity or the other and possibly that could be the reason uh, secondly not only Nigerians we have other African brothers and sisters who are into one thing or the other based on the situation around the country but uh if things are put in place properly where uh, workers are being prevented uh protected uh, i'm sure a lot of things will not happen and uh sometimes we have people luring their fellow brothers and sisters come here come here there's a lot of job opportunities and you're going to get job they bring you in and actually it's very very difficult to get a job if you don't go through the right channel there are people who can actually mentor you on how to apply for a job and some of them are even scammed and you find a lot of people going into the institution because they don't have the right information to guide them to protect them to get the proper things that they need so we'll be talking about a list of these countries that have had issues uh there are quite a number of them um i don't know what will happen and the impact that is going to generate you know a lot of africans move here because there are no jobs back home and uh, they come here to support their families and if we can't come here anymore it's going to mean a lot a lot to some of our families back home and even if we can come if we're having visa bans you know you're already here uh, some have sold their properties back home to relocate and they're already here what then happens to them you know going back empty-handed where do they start so a lot of people are just here looking forward to opportunities that can open up so having a visa ban you know might mean a lot a lot to them so a list of those countries that are currently uh, on the ban list uh, first of all we have our famous Nigeria it has been there for a long time like I said uh, there have been issues between the government Nigeria and the government of the UAE 
then we have another country that is feeling it so bad now it's um, Uganda which is the second country that is on the list now and it's really really disturbing that they are having this 30 day visa ban uh, when they said visa ban mostly they talked about the 30 day visa ban so I don't know if it affects other visas uh, as the news said this is to inform you that we will not be posting 30 days visa application for these nationalities effective from 18th October 2022 the notice reads in part countries affected by this visa ban include Uganda, uh, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Sudan, Cameroon, Nigeria, Liberia, Burundi, uh, Republic of Guinea, Gambia, Togo, um, Benin, Ivory Coast, Congo, Rwanda, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, Comoros, and Dominica Republic. Those are the countries in the list. That's about 19 to 20 of them in that list. So if you had the name of your country and uh, is there, just note that 30 days visas are not being processed for this country. Uh, visa renewal in within the country is still going on. Uh, employment visa within the country is still going on as people are still getting employed over the days. Uh, but to say uh, coming in with the 30 days visa is going to be a bit difficult. So that's probably one of the things that is really happening. So uh, what could be our solution is actually uh, that we have to actually one behave ourselves uh secondly i think they are protecting themselves medical issues could be one of the reasons why these visas are being uh banned from these particular regions uh but priority goes to how we conduct ourselves within the gulf and within the uae i know that a lot of people will disagree with me uh but there is no environment that does not have rules and regulations governing it if you stick by the rule we will definitely leave and do our uh, duties free. We will definitely make whatever we need to support our families back home in Africa. So if you are home and you want to come to the UAE, as at this moment, make sure that you wait for an update when these things will be open, then you can apply. Don't sell your property to relocate when this is not really going on. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Until I see you again on my next video, I remain Harry Tigansa Jingina for Experience Africa.